Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, In Honor of Mr. and Mrs. Ari Beck. Can a Hatan join the army during the first year of his marriage? Or Hashem, Mazel to the Beck and Shalom's family, beautiful Simcha a few weeks back. And they should build a Bayit, Neman Bisrael, Mr. and Mrs. Ari Beck, from our community. And uh, everything should go well. Shana Rishona, the first year, and at May, the Esrim Shana, she built a beautiful by the Imam Israel, and a great child that comes up. And so Ari is in the uh, army now, and what is the halacha regarding a Hatan joining the army? So many of us may think, wait a second, there's a Pasuk about this. There's an open Pasuk in the Torah. In Parashat Ki Teitse, it says in Shishi, Kikach ish isha chadasha, the man takes a woman, lo yetse batzava, he should not go to the army. Lo yavor alav the whole davar, he should not be there at all. In any kind of fashion, naki yed le beto shana echad, he should be clean, be to his house, focused the whole year, vesimeya vesimach et ishto asher lakach. And he should cause his wife to rejoice. He should rejoice with her. So we have a wonderful shayla here. What is Allah now in Eretz Israel, where many 20, 21, 22 year olds, marriageable age, chatanim, young men, are going to the army. And this is their first year. What's Allah? So first we have to say Baruch Hashem that this is a shayla we have. 70, 80 years ago our fathers would have dreamed to have such a shayla. Not only during the Holocaust years and the years of Europe and the pogroms, crusaders, how oh, yeah, our fathers would have dreamed to talk about a shayla where a chatan is serving in the Israeli Defense Forces, Tzva HaGanah Israel. should he go? Is it Rashut? Is he allowed to go? What a shayla. So first, we should appreciate this question. Thank God that we reached a Tkufa period in our history that we have such a question. That's point number one. Point number two is, what is this mitzvah? And do any of us across the globe take it literally? You say, what do you mean across the globe? It's a lach in, in the army. Not so simple. If it says, Naki yevil beito, he should be home during the year. So maybe he should not go on business trips during that first year. Let's say the chatan is a person is a business. And he goes ahead and he travels. What should he do in such a case? Should he abstain? Should he tell his boss, listen, I, I can't travel for my first 12 months of the job? This is a fantastic shayla. Now, the halacha didn't directly make it into the Shulchan Aruch about what the halachot are for the year, but that doesn't mean it's not halacha. Sometimes the Shulchan Aruch may not mention a case, and for various reasons, he didn't say it. doesn't mean it's not halacha. So first of all, uh, one point, and then Yetzir Shem, we're going to continue this in the future Shirim. One point. The Urayim actually takes this mitzvah to mean that one should go ahead and be at home with his wife during the year and literally rejoice with her, do things to make her happy. And he takes a pasuk as, as is. The Chinuch says the first year is so crucial building the bond and therefore, that's why the Torah exempts him from going out. Because we know the Shana Rishon is so important. It's a new life for each one of them. They need to go ahead and work together and build a bond. The Rosh in Eben Ezra Samachtal, it brings down the Arabian, says, I'm not so sure that there's a technical chiyav to go ahead and be with her just to rejoice as much as the technical halacha is that he just doesn't go out to the army and the Mela, and he's home. But is it the specific halacha to go in and see what, what does she want today, what does she want today? That might be a good thing to do for 120 years. But he doesn't know if the Pasuk literally means that or not, as opposed to during the seven days of Mishnah. Then he has to go ahead and make sure to take care of all he needs to make a happy. That's part of the very formulation of the Mishnah. So let's just summarize. 
There seems to be a bit of machloka between the Urim and others, according to the Al Whether the technical mitzvah is actually to make sure she's happy in everything she does, it's a technical mitzvah that's just part of the general mitzvah of marriage for 120 years. Sefer Urim seems to say, yes, that's the mitzvah of Shadari Shona. While others say, no, the real technical mitzvah is being exempt from the war. Naturally, you're home together. And the Chino says it's the whole mitzvah is to build a marriage up. And now, Mitzvah and next year we need to look technically what does this mean for Hatan. Mitzvah will discuss this, and the next year.